Well, I mean, absolutely, like you say, the uh, the professionals make it look easy because they, sp they spend a lot of years practicing and stuff. And I think uh, what's really important here is for people to be free and express themselves, but within reason and within kind of some constraints of safety. Safety is very paramount in, in this situation. But trust me, like I understand the, the whole art form of uh, parkour. I'm currently working on a, on a feature movie in Spain and I'm choreographing all the, the scenes of the parkour, working with professionals that actually spend five, six years just learning how to fall, learning the basics and kind of conditioning the body before they can do that. One thing that's very important for viewers to realize as well, that even in video clips when you see a lot of the, the, the big jumps and stuff, you might not see the mattress that's hiding underneath and the landing and all that. So everything is a lot also to do with safety that you might not see there to make it more impressive or camera uh, control with slow motion and so on. Uh, having said that, the, yes, they do some very dangerous thing, but this is not going uh, from, from beginners to extreme. I mean, it's a process, it's a long process that people need to understand. So you understand the motivation that thrill-seeking youngsters will have in wanting to emulate the, the videos that they're seeing online or even just of their own accord. But what sort of what sort of progress do you suggest to them? How how can they acquire the skills that they need? People need to realize that all these people that you see in video clips do not start on the street. They start in the gym, and there's specialized mats and things for for you to to gain necessary skills for parkour. This is very important for them to understand. Yes, it's free running. Yes, you can go to the street. But I suggest that if you're going to do something like of the sort that you go to a playground where you've got some cushions and kind of you're not going to you know scrape all your knees off and so on. Uh, and areas that, that are more safe. Um, actually, I suggest for them to get in contact with me. Um, I'm, I'm more than happy to help. I can offer, because again, like we've been saying, it's really vital that they know how to fall. And uh, if there's enough interest, there's, there's quite a few kids that want to do this now to get in contact with me. And I can arrange a workshop in, uh, in a martial arts club with mats so that they can learn the basics of not only how to fall, but how to condition your body. The wrists are very important that they are strong and flexible and your ankles as well. So to go through a process that I can perhaps prepare them for them to be able to take it in a more safer manner. And apart from that, just to get contacts across the border that again, I work a lot in Spain for them perhaps to meet more people that are in doing this or go to a proper gym where they do proper parkour. So I'm more than open for anybody to get in contact with me for regarding information or to teach the basics of learning how to fall, which can take a while, and if you cannot do that, you shouldn't be doing parkour at all.